So you have high nitrate. Don't worry about it. Every reefer goes through it. I'm gonna show you how to get it down. But before I do that, I need you to like and subscribe to this video. This is where we talk about everything, saltwater fish, reef tanks, coral reef. If that's something you like to talk about, make sure you subscribe. Let's get it. Yo, so the first tip of getting that high nitrates down is probably to be proactive, man. You can't, so when I, what I mean by being proactive is like feed less, don't overstock your fish tank, stuff like that. You know, these type of things can lead to high nitrates. Uh, pick up the food that you, if the fish didn't eat all the food, pick, try to clean the food out of your tank too. The hermit crabs can eat the food, but it still releases nitrates into the water. So it's best practice if you just, after like two or three minutes and the fish, if it's still left up food, just clean it up. Another tip I did to get my nitrates down, yo, is the good old water change, yo. Hey, this water change can do wonders for your tank, but it is, it's not the only thing that you can do to get the nitrates down because eventually water change won't get your nitrates down, okay? So how do you do a water change? All right, so what I do is I take 30% of what my tank is, and my tank uh, water is, and I, I change it out. So. What you do is you do 0.3 times higher and bigger tank is. My tank is only 20 gallons, so 0.3 times 20 gallons is uh six gallons. So six gallons is all you gotta do for a 20 gallon tank if you wanna achieve a 30% water change. Once you get that 30% of water out, you put six gallons back in. Boom, six gallons of salt water, I, I might say. Boom, in a that's how you complete your water change. And honestly, if you're being proactive about it, because that's what you need to be doing, you need to do it every week. I know some folks say you want to change your water when your levels are telling you. I just re religiously do this every week. So just to make sure everything, you know, I'm restoring calcium and everything too. So just do a water change every week. So another tip y'all can do to get y'all nitrates down in y'all water is, uh, hey yo, by the good old Kato. Hey yo, by the good old Kato. Yeah, this is good. You know what I'm saying? That green, green. Hey, buy this. This stuff makes wonders in your tank. It keep the nitrates down. It keep your phosphates down. It'll take control. It'll outwork the good, the, the bad algae. This is the algae you should put in the back of your tank. It refuse you. And other other microorganisms like pods and organisms like them. So, hey, they live in it and it protects them, yo. So, yo, this, this thing does wonders for your tank. So another way, yo, a protein skimmer. Like, I don't I don't have a protein skimmer because I, I ain't got the money for it. I'm, I'm poor. So I heard protein skimmer does wonders. Just keep that a secret between me and you. A protein skimmer will do the job. It collects all the bad and the ugly out of your tank. All you gotta do is make sure you clean out the tray. You know, so hey, if you really wanna get those nitrates down, get a protein skimmer. I wish I had a protein skimmer. Another thing you might wanna check, if you, you have not high nitrates and everything's working well, everything's looking well, and you still can't find out the problem why you have high nitrates, you probably need to check the source of your water. Like, so, if you get your, your water from your house and you might want to check it to make sure that, you know, it's, everything's getting filtered out because that can be causing you high nutrients in your water too. So it's very important that you, you check, you know, your nutrients of, of your, your roadie system. So make sure you get it, make sure you check it and make sure everything is looking the way it's supposed to look because that can, that can cause problems. I mean, it can cause a nuisance, nuisance allergies to grow and we can't stand that nuisance allergy. I can't stand it, and I know you can't either, so make sure you check that because, hey, it could be the source of your water. Like, overstocking your fish tank can cause high nutrients in your water, too. Uh, I learned from my guys in the chat down below, uh, Be Frag and my other guy, yeah. Hey, they'll let you know. They'll let you know, for real, though. They'll let you know they keep it 100 every time. Like, they be like, yo, yo, slow down, yo. I'm like, damn, man, I'm just too excited. But be honest, guys, you need to slow down and take your time when you're when you you're doing a retake because I mean, it's not it's not a race, it's a marathon, you know. Just take your time and be be relaxed, be relaxed. Like, let it come to you. Like, that's the number one thing in this whole hobby, yo. Just relax and take your time. I had to learn that the hard way, but like I say, failure is the stepping stool to success. So I learned my lesson. 
I moved on. Get it. I think everything's headed in the right direction now. So let's get it. And I kind of want to take this time out to say thank y'all for everything. You know, all the support that I'm, I'm receiving lately. Uh, all the help I can call it, cause like I'm new to this, and I feel like you know y'all butt in, tell me when I'm messing up. I'll fix it. Just if you post a comment down below, I will answer it. So I'm always answering all the comments. So if you want to leave me a message down below, just just leave it. Hey, and I I'll get back to you. I promise. Like I said, if you if you if you need a channel to watch every week, I post every week on the saltwater fish tank. And you want to see a channel grow? You want to see a tank grow? This is a channel you need to watch because you're gonna see me start from this little little small tank. And eventually, you know, one day, be with the big boys, like Queen of the Reef and Irresponsible Reefer, you know? Uh, I probably just slaughtered his name, but hey, you, hey, you know who y'all talking to. You know, you know. But if this is the type of content you like, hey, make sure you subscribe and like, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.